Ratatouille, yeah? Ratatouille. Ratatouille, of course, it's a, uh, it's a film about a rat who's involved with the mob. Uh, he doesn't want to be involved with the mob, he wants to, he wants to be a chef. Ratatouille is his signature dish. Many would think Ratatouille is his name, that's not his name. His name is Pierre. Pierre Rattler. Rattler. Rat man. I know this because I've seen this film, so of course, I remember a lot. I got an iron trap up here. Let's watch this to have a good time, alright? Uh, it's always a fun journey for me. Already. Although Stop. Pause. Ah! It's always a fun journey for me watching movies I've seen before. Because I get to guess plot points that subconsciously I, I just remember, but I'm playing it off like I'm actually just like a really smart guy. So it's a fun exercise for me to feel better about myself. Would like to dispute this fact. Disputes the fact. He's French! Pierre! Oh my god, did I remember? Is his name Pierre? The best food his in name's the world Pierre. is made in France. Food in France. The best food in France is made by Pierre. Chef Auguste Gusteau. G Auguste Gusteau. Eh. Oh, I'm so sorry. This video is gonna be me doing access the whole time, isn't it? <laughs> I thought I'd get it out of the way early with doing the mob thing, but uh, he is involved. There's a mob, right? I'm pretty sure there's a mob. Has made his competitors envious. Yeah. Anyone can cook. I don't think anyone can do it. Hey, hey, dude. Where is my Pierre? Is this his rat house? Yeah. Where are you, boy? Oh, I don't know why that sound effect hit me. It was one of those feelings where like you you hear it and then you kind of feel it in your groin a little bit. I've talked about this. This is a real, this is a phenomenon. Sometimes you feel sound effects in your groin and it's exciting a little bit. This is me. <laughs> that's, that's how you start this movie though? With the freeze frame, uh, bet you're wondering how I got here. That's a meme, dog. What's that from? Like, uh, not Wonder Years. Saved by the Bell. Inferior show to Boy Meets World. I don't know why people always think like, oh, Stay by the Bell, what a great show. It sucked. Boy Meets World, though, that's a great classic. I'm a rat. In the mob. Which means life is hard. In the mob. This is Emil, my brother. Your drug brother. Whoa, 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 don't eat that! The smell was rat poison. Oh, that bitch. She tried to kill this mob. What is she, a copper? Until Dad gave me a job. <laughs> Clean poison checker. Let's just say we have different points of view. Now shut up and eat your garbage. Look, if we're going to be thieves. Him and his dad really have beef. And I'm thinking like, he doesn't kill his dad. It's his job to sniff out poisons, but maybe one time, he accidentally missed sniffs. No poison. Oh, what's going on, dad? You choking? Oh no! Guess there's a new king in town. His name is Pierre! Oh, mm, you're amazing. Chill with the food orgy here. We, we gotta cook this! No, we cook this is the real- Oh, yeah! You know, listen, it's an animated movie, and they plan all this out pre-production, but I really like this. So, we have, obviously, the, the blurred background. There's gonna be a rack focus, so what's in focus right here, in the foreground, and then- Now, exactly how- Exactly how, camera tilts up, the real and then the house comes in focus, and yeah. then rack comes back in, pokes back into the frame, and then change the focus right back onto him. It's not hard to do that <laughs> when it's an animated film, but it just, I, I just appreciate it. It's a, it's a nice thing. Shouldn't be so- <laughs> I didn't feel that sound effect in my groin. Disappointed. Zero out of 10 sound effect. You must not let anyone define your limits. Isn't he a fraud? Oh God. <laughs> Not me actually trying to remember the plot. After a scathing review by Francis' top food critic, the broken-hearted chef died shortly after. <laughs> Wait, okay, <laughs> he's not. He's not the villain. He died. I thought he was a bad guy. I think he still could. He could haunt this rat. I think he could be a ghost or something. Oh. Is that a shotgun? Oh, it's a. Oh, thank God. Oh no, girl, that's not the right weapon. Holy shit! This woman's a psycho. Who la? Who gave this woman a gun? Oh, she's probably in America. No, it's France. What does this woman have a shot? What do you need a shotgun for? That's not true. If you're in a woods with moose, you need a shotgun because those things are, they're like, terrorists. They're 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 the terrorists of the woods. They are frightening. Have you ever seen a moose? Listen, sometimes I feel the need to like warn the world again about moose. They're not what you think they are. <laughs> How many rounds is in this thing? Oh, I thought she got his ass. Oh, now it's out of rounds? <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, they're not in the ceiling, are they? Oh, yep, I remember this. Because this was my nightmare. Oh my god. 
<laughs> You're leaving the prince behind? He's the son of the leader. Do books float? Books don't float, right? Oh, she is on fire. Goodness, this woman is scornful. Oh my god. It's a little bit sexy. Do books float? I don't want books about whether things sink or float. I- Why is this so hard? The fuck is this website? Oh my god. I might be going- Wow, where am I? No, you gotta make it hollow. <laughs> They're like, cut out all the pages of a book, and then you can make it float. I waited. It kind of serves you right. You really try to chase your dreams, and sometimes you gotta just be complacent in life. Know your place, you know? <laughs> If you are hungry. Oh, he does come back. He, so he is kind of like a ghost in this movie. He, there's still room for him to become a villain. Listen, I said it, so now I'm just cheering for my original prediction. I want him to become a villain now. <laughs> Anyone who likes this movie, if you like this movie and you saw a mouse in your house, <laughs> you're killing it, right? You're not like, oh, I usually don't like mice, but I saw Ratatouille and that was cute, so I think it's fine. You're going to kill the mouse, right? I just want to make sure people aren't having an affinity towards mice and rats now. What are you doing? I'm hungry! Why, ah, he's a ghost! You don't have no guts! Why is this movie so violent? That's ridiculous! Movie studios just want to put violence in their films. I'm always like, stop with the violence, alright? I'm sick of seeing it. The world's already filled with too much violence. I certainly don't want it in my media. I say that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> this is a G-rated movie. This is rated G for guidance. For general audiences, right? All ages admitted. And this is a woman who's about to shoot her man. How is this allowed in a G-rated movie? And then what does he say? You don't have the guts. You don't have the guts. And she, pow! She fires one off. Oh my god. Dog, what is... I mean, my god. God, the French are wild people, huh? Jesus, she tried to shoot him, and that was just like a turn-on for him. What a weird guy. I would never be turned on by something so weird. Goodness, this woman is scornful. <laughs> oh my god. It's a little bit sexy. Oh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Jacques. Yeah, so this is Jacques, our main character. He's a uh, redhead who has a hair pulling kink. Alfredo Linguini. Alfredo Linguini? Oh, his middle name is Jacques. He goes by his middle name, which is Jacques. Alfredo is his father's name, and he hates his father. That's why he goes by his middle name, right? My mother. How is she? Good. She died. She believed in heaven, so she's covered afterlife wise. Chester don't care. What's this? Uh, she left it for you. Now, who is that? Him? <laughs> what well, that is. Jacques, of course. Jacques with the kink, with the hair and the bull. But she doesn't cook. But he could, see? What, what is he doing? No. Why is he doing that, though? Wait, so he knocked the pot over, and now he's just like, okay, let me just throw random ingredients into it. Nobody's noticing it. What is he doing? <laughs> There's a rat in the kitchen. Oh, this is so gross. How? Who approved this idea for a movie? They put one of the most disgusting things you could find. Like, if you find a rat in your kitchen, you could, like, shut a restaurant down. And they're like, okay, well, what if we make a story about an endearing rat in a kitchen? Why would they do this? Disney. <laughs> He threw like four basil leaves into the pot and then a little a rat's fist of like pepper and that's gonna fix this pot this like eight gallon pot of sauce and four basil leaves and a rat's throw of pepper okay get the hell out of here okay what's he gonna add oh like eight onion slices ain't no way that's fixing look at how big this freaking pot is Remy, what are you waiting Jesus. for why why are there gun shootouts Multiple jump scares too. Like, what is this movie? This is a horror film. Oh yeah, I'm sure that'll clean you up. He didn't even wash his hands. He just used one drop of water, and he was like, "This is clean enough." <laughs> he was in the sewers. Oh, he catches him. He catches the rat. Oh, the garbage boy! <laughs> this <is> soup. <gasps> Stop that soup! Oh. 
Was he got like social anxiety or something? Are we just adding layers to this now? It was a critic. She likes a soup. What are you playing at? Uh, Come on, Jacques, explain yourself. How can we claim to represent the name of Gusto if we don't uphold his most cherished belief? What belief is that? Anyone can cook anything, anytime. Anyone can cook. Anything, anytime. You will make the soup again. I'll be paying attention. <gasps> Run! <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot him! Shoot him! I don't know how to cook, and now I'm actually talking to a rat as if you you understand me. I can't cook, can I? But you, you can, right? Look, <laughs> I kind of wish Remy couldn't talk throughout the entire film, and he just gestured. Cause that was funny. I feel like I would not get sick of that if Remy couldn't talk. Also, I kind of. I kinda don't love his voice. Who's the voice actor? Hold on. Wait, what did I call him? Pierre. I called him Pierre, right? Oh, Patton Oswalt? Who the hell is Skinner? Skinner sounds like someone who has mob ties. So this this is it. It's uh it's not my <laughs> This apartment? The toilet's like right next to the fridge. <laughs> Wait, is the toilet paper? The toilet paper is on one side of the curtain where the water goes. Oh, there you got soggy toilet paper. You know, what's mine is yours. Oh my god. This is like the worst apartment ever with the best view. Look at that unobstructed view. Well, uh just just for a second listen you've had a woman holding her boyfriend up with a gun and then her firing that gun and then them making out you're willing to take risks just quickly for a nice little joke where do you put him checks here he's like here if he checks his waistband real quick nope uh, maybe not funny i will ovation this film do it do it do it ready do it do it do it you know Yes! Yeah! Disney's taking some risks with their jokes. I love it. I love it. I love it. Recreate the soup. Take as much time as you need. All week, if you must. Ow! Is he punching? Ow! <laughs> dog, dog, dog. Rat bites? Aren't those like diseases? Like, that's what rats are. They carry disease everywhere. How do you think the plague started? Rats. I think. I'm not a big history guy. Not a big math or science guy either. And literature I do struggle with. What am I good at? Ah! Ah! Oh! <laughs> God. <laughs> this is funny. Yeah! Yeah! Shake <laughs> from a rat. The rat. I saw it. The rat. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, listen, I, I joked about it being a kink before. Did you see the excitement on his face? <laughs> you don't experience that much joy from having your hair pulled unless you like it in a certain kind of way. Oh. <laughs> okay. Wait, so they just let him go home? They're like, recreate the soup. And he's like, okay, I'll try, but I need a few days to make one soup. <laughs> They actually made the training montage pretty funny. <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh my god! There's no way I would trust. I'm not trusting a rat with my knives in my fingers. I wouldn't try. I want all my fingers. Because if I lost multiple fingers, it would be hard to like read a physical book. I guess that wouldn't be too big of a problem because I use Audible, today's sponsor. Audible is the world's leading provider of spoken word entertainment. What a year it's been. When I think back to all the times I've said, Audible is the world's leading provider of spoken word entertainment, I can see all my greatest memories flashing before my eyes. The truth of the matter is, Audible only sponsors me as much as they do because of you guys. When I give you guys my link, audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble, you guys actually go and sign up. So I'd like to use this time in which Audible is paying me, I enjoy that part, to thank you troublemakers because you are the reason my channel is successful, you are the reason brands want to work with me in the first place. In return, I like to be pretty intentional about the kinds of brands I work with. I I only want to promote brands and products that I feel like you're getting a good value from. And that's why I do like working with Audible. There really isn't another platform that does what Audible does, and certainly not with the enormous library Audible has. I don't think I played this up enough. If you use my link, you get a free credit. You can use that credit on any audiobook of your choosing. And audiobooks usually go from anywhere from like $20 to $50. So you're getting a free $20 to $50 credit. Not only do you get the free credit, but you also get a 30 day free trial. So you get access to the plus catalog, which are the on demand listens. Some very good stuff in there. A lot of you watching this have probably already signed up for Audible using my link. But for those that haven't, 
Go get an audiobook for free. You want to listen to, to, to Twilight? You psychopath? Free credit. Boom. Spend it there. You can do what I'm doing and go through Game of Thrones. I'm not, I don't want to read all that, man. But that world is so rich and this is the perfect way for me to experience it. Oh, and for anybody that's like struggling to find a Christmas gift for somebody, this is actually like a really out of the box Christmas gift idea. You can get them a two month subscription to Audible. First month is free using my link. Convenient, right? They're not going to know that you got the first month free. So not only will it be affordable for you, but you can pick out an audiobook for them. And even if they hate the audiobook you pick out for them, the next month, they get another credit that they can spend on anything that they choose. The link is in the description, audible.com slash Dylan is in trouble, as always. Now let's get back to making fun of this rat. <laughs> Congratulations. But you will need to know more than soup. Colette will be responsible for teaching you how we do things here. No, no, no. you listen. How many women do you see in this kitchen? Huh? Only me. That hierarchy built up on rules written by stupid old men. <laughs> because I am the toughest cook in this kitchen. And I am not going to jeopardize it for some garbage. Go! Hi. Uh... Wow! Yeah, I'm saying the same thing, my guy. Skinner. Wait, he's Skinner? Oh, wait, what is that? What does it say? What does it say? Get my lawyer! Ooh. <gasps> Did he leave the kitchen? It was Jacques? Jacques owns the kitchen now? That if after a period of two years, no heir appears, Gusto's business interests will pass to his sous chef. You! The deadline in the will expires in less than a month! Deceased mother claiming Gusto is his father? But the boy does not know. She claims she never told him! Oh, Gusto! What does she want? A job for the boy. So, she wrote on a handwritten note that the boy is the son of the ghost chef. But no one knows, the boy doesn't even know that his father is the ghost chef. The only people that know are the dead mom and now him. And then he brought in his lawyer, so now his lawyer knows. But if they never tell anyone, then the guy won't think to inherit, right? Like it, uh, hmm, hmm. I wanna see how this goes. He knows something. Oh, he's, he's paranoid with social anxiety. You think cooking is a cute job, eh? I had to face the dinner rush when the orders come flooding in and every dish is different and notice this. Keep your station clear. Keep your station clear, or I will kill you! Oh, with the knives! We are artists. We? Oui. Thank you. Thank you, too. For for what? For taking it. She likes when guys take it from her. That's what she said. That's not me. That's not me. That's not me. That's you. If you were like, ah, Dylan, that was you. That was not me. Huh? <laughs> Just drop my keys. <laughs> There's this guy with paranoia, social anxiety, and now they're gonna gaslight him into thinking he's insane. This guy, I kind of feel bad for this head chef. Unintentionally, they are destroying his life. What does the chef have that's new? So what is that? What is new? You? I told him I would ask. What are you blathering about? Customers are asking, but it's new. Look at this. Look at this. First of all, entering the scene with the uh, the sound effect. Watch how fun this is. Boom, sound effects. Ah, moving camera. The, the zooms in and out, the focus changes. This is so good. Boom, move. And then as the, the scene ramps up in intensity, you kind of get a little bit closer to each of their faces and it just brings like a sense of, of higher pacing in it. Yeah, it's just so good. If it's linguini they want, tell them Chef Linguini something special for them. Now is your chance to try something worthy of your talent. Is he gonna try to sabotage? Sweet bread a la gusto. Oh, uh, so he gave him a specific dish without checking to see if he knows how to cook it. Are you sure? That recipe was a disaster. Interesting, okay, so he's trying to sabotage. I thought he was gonna sabotage by like adding extra salt when Jacques turned and was distracted and then that was gonna ruin the dish, but it's Instead, he just gave him a difficult dish. Uh, 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 Ew! Hey. My knee, I'm down gonna, uh, excuse me, I'm gonna, uh, apparently I, I need this, I'll be right there. Hey, I gotta get some of that spice. Oh, improvising? Oh. This is no time to experiment, they got my way. should listen to you! <laughs> Yo, this film does physical comedy so well. This is so funny. Uh, <gasps> Sorry. <laughs> what a haughty little bitch. Say love it! Wait, hey, 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 boy. I would have killed you, but good job. Really did it tonight. He's so. He's going insane. I'd love to have a little talk. A little wine, a friendly chat. The plunger won't be coming to you for advice anymore, eh, Colette? Oh, a subplot of her feeling inferior now? Well, that would be interesting. Oh, his family. His family, right? <laughs> I totally forgot he had a family. Why did they call it that? What? Ratatouille. It's like a stew, right? Wait, ratatouille is a real dish? I thought it was, I thought it was a Pierre specialty. Pierre doesn't create ratatouille? 
has returned! <laughs> the paperclip. You look thin. Why is that? A shortage of food or a surplus of snobbery? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kill your dad. <laughs> Power struggle, all right? Leave this community. Yeah, I'm a different kind of rat. Maybe you're not a rat at all. Power Maybe struggle. Good... Let's go. Someone's got to die here. You're talking like a human. Who are not as bad as you say? <laughs> We've seen a lot of negative stuff from humans. A lot of gun-involved negative stuff here. I got something I want you to see. We're here. <gasps> this is what happens when a rat gets a little too comfortable. Oh my god, that's some feudal shit. That's some 1446 type shit. They just hang bodies of animals just out as like a threat. Actually, it's not even a threat. It's like a marketing gimmick for people to be like, Hey, you want one of these? You want, you want some dead rats? We got the product for you. That's disturbing. How is this rated G? They got bodies hanging. Dog. To the enemy, we must live carefully. Oh, there's dead- We look out for our own- Like, you're humanizing these animals and then showing off their corpses. And then the guns go- Dog, how is this rated G? Disney, who did you bribe? Oh. He can control the feet through the hair as well? Yo, this guy is not a human. <laughs> it would be so amazing if she fell in love with not Jacques, but Pierre. She has to contend with the fact that she doesn't love Jacques, the human. She loves Pierre. The rat. Chester's already getting messed up. Like that dude with the social anxiety and the paranoia and now he's getting gaslit into thinking he's crazy. His life's already getting ruined by this Pierre and Jacques combination. Let's fuck up another life. Let's make her question things about her existence that she never thought she'd have to. The chef, he uh, invited you in for a drink. What did he say? <laughs> oh, I see how it is. I thought you were different. Wait, 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 is she? <laughs> you thought I was different. I thought you and I had a special connection. <gasps> I didn't have to help. If I looked out only for myself, I would- Oh no, she actually likes him. <laughs> I thought she was trying to trick him. I wanted you to succeed. I liked you. My mistake. Ooh. Look, I'm no good with words. I'm no good with food either. I would have followed your advice to the ends of the earth because I love you. Your advice. I have a secret. I have a r uh, I have uh, a king. I have this this tiny a little a little penis. A tiny chef who tells me what to do. You want to know why I'm such a fast learner? <laughs> I don't know. I I'm conflicted. Like we haven't seen them connecting at all. I'm wondering if she was like, "I liked you," to try to get him to to like reveal and spill all this because it's working, or if she actually likes him. But I don't. They've never connected. Like, we've never seen that. So it feels rash. Like, he's ready to say the L word, but I don't know if they actually like each other. This guy's just like a bumbling idiot, right? I don't know what her deal is, though. She's ready to pepper spray him. No, no! Yeah. <gasps> oh, she likes him! <laughs> oh my god. You see the way her eyes rolled? What is that tongue doing, bro? Oh, this man again. I haven't reviewed Gusto in years. How could it be? Oh, his voice. That casting nailed. He is Gusto's son. The whole thing is a setup. The boy knows. He's toying with my mind like a cat with a ball. <laughs> He's paranoid and they're just feeding it. I love it. Drive him insane. Taunting me with that rat. Deliberately trying to make me think it's important. Is the rat important? Of course not. He just wants me to think that it is. <laughs> <laughs> the deadline passes in three days. Then you can fire him. Your will! He's the rightful owner of this restaurant! <gasps> no! No! The rat! It's <laughs> oh! So these pieces of paper, which dictates the rights to the franchise, this rat that has been toying with you, you've been trying to uncover, you had not been able to, you find it in your office, hovering over the only source of information that could take this franchise away from you, and all these millions of dollars. And that rat gobbles it up and <laughs> runs out with those papers. Dog. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ain't no way. Get out of my office. He's not in your office. You are in his. Oh, damn. He got his restaurant back. I thought that'd be the end of the movie. <laughs> I literally don't remember. That's so sad. I thought the ending shot would be him getting the restaurant and that being revealed. What is the secret to your genius? You want the truth? I am Gust Gusto's son. It's in my blood, I guess. 
Well, Pierre wants credit now? Before, just, uh, just shortly before, Pierre specifically stopped Jacques from telling the girl. Christina. What did I name her? I don't remember. Did I give her a name? She's Christina now. He stopped Jacques from telling Christina he is controlled by a rat. <laughs> but now he wants credit from like the national media? Oh. I don't know, my guy. Ow! <laughs> Yes, Inspector. I wish to report a rat infestation. It's him. Mm. <laughs> you are Monsieur Linguini. He's a good villain. Premature. The voice, so. the presence, just the face. I don't love the, the character design on some of these characters, but his is uh, spectacular. You're slow for someone in the fast lane. And you're thin for someone who likes food. <gasps> If I don't love it, I don't swallow. I will return tomorrow night with... <laughs> Do the doors just close? They just automatically close behind him? How am I supposed to concentrate with you yanking on my hair all the time? You used to like it! Take a break, little chef. I'm not your puppet. The rat is the cook. Ego is coming and I need to focus. How arrogant is Jacques? I can understand the pressure of Ego coming. He's, uh, he's, a little, he's making you a little emotional. I'm getting a little stressed out. I can understand that. But you can't cook. <laughs> the only reason you have any ability is because of Pierre. You need to treat Pierre respectfully. Bring the whole clan. An inside job, huh? I, I thought you went back to the, the apartment. It didn't seem right to leave things the way that we did. I've been under a lot of, you know, pressure. The only reason anyone expects anything from me now is He came to his senses pretty quickly. Good on you, Jacques. I haven't been fair to you. Good on you, Jacques. What's going on? How could you? I, I thought you were my friend. Then don't come back or I'll treat you the way restaurants are supposed to treat pests. No. Now you've done it, Pierre! Well, to be honest, if we're looking at the great scales of balance here, Pierre has done so much more for Jacques than Jacques has done for Pierre. If it wasn't for Pierre here, Jacques would not own this restaurant, he would not have a love interest, he would be a busboy or a garbage boy, but instead, he's one of the most renowned chefs, and he has his own restaurant. And like a- he's like a castle now! <laughs> he inherited a castle, all because of Pierre. And listen, if Pierre and his family want to come and take some ingredients, I get it. It was out of spite. It's not right. Why am I morally justifying these rats' actions? <laughs> Wait, do the rats help? I think the rats help clean up the kitchen or something. You are the boss. Inspire him. Uh, attention! Appetite is coming, and he's going to have a big ego. I mean ego. He's coming. And he's going to order. <laughs> We'll have to cook it. Sure, he took away a star last time he reviewed this place. Sure, it probably killed Gustad. It goes here. Let's cook! Okay. It's kind of sad. He doesn't really have any skills, which kind of makes me wonder why Christina fell in love with him. He doesn't he hasn't shown any ability of his own, any charisma. Even him making the first move and kissing her, that was the rat. Do you know what you would like this evening? I'd like some fresh, clear, well-seasoned perspective. What? Perspective. Fresh out, I take it. He's so pretentious, I love it. I want whatever he dares to serve me. I, no! <gasps> Touch him! Hey, hey, hey. I have no talent at all. <laughs> or charisma. <laughs> Look, you've been giving me credit for his gift. We can be the greatest restaurant in Paris, and this rat, this brilliant little chef, can lead us there. Hey, wait, wait, wait. How long do rats live? So two years? He's got a two-year window, my guy. And he's already been alive for a while. So I would say he's at least probably like 10 months old. This rat's got a year left to live. What do you say? You with me? Hell no. And then the rats help. The rats fill in. Yeah? Wait, she's not gonna leave, right? Why is everyone in this movie so aggressive? I swear to God. Is it French people? Is this French culture? A lot of guns and slapping? Wait, she leaves too? She has no faith in your boy? You can do it yourself. You got, you got the star right here. Oh, she gonna turn back around? <laughs> We're not cooks, but we are family. You guys gotta sanitize. <laughs> Kill him! Kill him! Stop that help Kill him! Oh, what a terror. It's a horror film. Yeah, okay, I was gonna say, they need to sanitize. Okay, I feel a little bit better now. Handling fish, team four, roasted items, team five! <laughs> yeah. Oh, wild. I 
kind of wish they maybe it was like a deleted scene or something i wish christina had taught jockier how to roller skate and now he's using his ability that he learned through her to better do his job now in a moment of crisis because we saw him roller skating before uh, i think wasn't it her struggling to be on the skates so it would seem like he was teaching her kind of wish that was a, a scene uh, they, there needs to be more romance if you're gonna put that into your film the romantic element you have to have scenes dedicated to it and there was none. Make sure that steak is nice and tenderized. Less salt, more butter. That was the sound like you were painting a picture. Not too much vinaigrette on that salad compote. Good. Too much salt. Good. Colette, wait. Colette! I was so close. Christina. Ratatouille. Are you sure you want to serve this to Ego? <laughs> what? I am making ratatouille. Well, how would you prepare it? He doesn't have time to teach one single person one specific dish, right? Like all the other rats don't know anything about cooking. That's what makes him special. You see, he's got like this special talent for something that no one else knows anything about. So I was kind of questioning like, cause he's being the chef, he's guiding everybody, coaching everyone through how to make the dishes. But inevitably they're gonna have questions and there's <laughs> like a hundred rats here. He doesn't have time for each individual one. And now he's going off and allowing the rats to do their own thing without coaching them because he's busy with her. Ooh, I don't know, man. <laughs> Tragic backstory. I love it. it. It's actually a nice memory. Yeah, it reminds him of his childhood. Oh, five star. Five star. Who cooks the ratatouille? I demand to know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just your waiter tonight. Then who do I thank for the meal? But as Linguini explains, Ego's smile disappears. He doesn't react beyond asking an occasional question. Ego stands, thanks us for the meal, and leaves without another word. I do like how they're constructing the story. Almost telling it like it happened in the past as we're seeing it. When everything so far has been chronological. I, I like the that. The following day, his review appears. The world is often unkind to new talent. The new needs friends. Why do they like each other? I know why he likes her. She's got a lot of great qualities. Him? I don't. I just don't see it. I'm having a hard time believing she likes him because I, <laughs> he's just a goofball with no talent, you know? Oh my God, he's me. No, no, I don't want to have a sad go. <laughs> this movie is unrealistic because he gets the girl. <laughs> I will be returning to Gusto soon, hungry. It was a great night. <laughs> the happiest there's no like the quality difference between the best dish and the second best dish in Paris if you're ego you can eat anywhere the difference between what Pierre can cook and what the second best chef in all of Paris the difference between those is that enough to warrant knowing that you're eating a rat's cooking the first thing I would have them do rather than explain how the rat cooked the ratatouille I would have them show me how they sanitize themselves I would not be surprised if ego dies that was his last review ever because he caught some sickness. Well, we had to let Skinner and the health inspector loose. Once it got out, there were rats in the kitchen. The restaurant was closed. Yeah. Ego lost his job and his credibility. He's doing very well as a small business investor. Wow. Okay, so people found out that the rats cooked the meals. Well, how were they not flabbergasted that the rats had the capacity? Like, that is a <laughs> marvel that they were capable of doing that. But instead, Ego, he wrote the review. It went poorly because he loved a rat's cooking, and everyone's like, oh, Ego, it must be insane. But he had t instead took his wealth and invested in Pierre's new restaurant. What's the place called? Does, that, does the place have a name? Oh, it's the Ratatouille. <laughs> okay. You gotta be some type of person to willingly eat food cooked by a rat. All that said, hey, it's a fun film. Really gross when you think about it too much, but uh, just try not to think too hard. Audible. Don't forget to go to audible.com slash donors or triple. If you haven't signed up, give it a shot. Oh yeah, that's gonna do it. I'll see you next time. Turtles? Turtles?